Hey everyone, Merrick's here, bringing you the Champs News live at 3. We're getting things kicked off with our portal review of High Low Space Jump from Top Shelf Booty, also known as Mid Carter. Um, what does the uh, High Low Space Jump mean, by the way, uh, Mid Carter? He is League 18, 2.7 million roster talent, 306 superstars on his roster, 202 consecutive days streak. What happened 203 days ago? He's been playing a long time, 1,781 days. Win percentage in 30 days, super consistent at 97.6, also very high. 2,073 battles won in the last 30 days. And uh, this man works on his female roster 100%, so I bet he does pretty dang well in female feuds. So he's got Player Pain Bliss, um, which... Um, I've been slowly leveling mine up, and he, uh, when I'm streaming and trying to play Bliss, is like, nah, try this. And he definitely knows what he's doing there, and I know he says she's very, very good. Um, Becky Lynch, uh, one of the top uh, females in the game for sure. And then he's got Icon Charlotte rounding it out. I don't want to run into this guy in a female feud, I'll tell you that. Uh, and then, of course, Afa at 5-star gold. I love Afa. Uh, turn two killer. He can still do big damage on turn one, two, and then Skull King Triple H uh, as well. Really nice top five, dude. Um, love that you focus on your female roster. How much difference do you feel like that makes for you in in female feud? Is it significant? Like, do you feel like it's almost uh, easy mode compared to a male feud, for example? Uh, I'm actually kind of curious to see how you feel like the balance is having that good of a female roster. Uh, 46 five stars, 172 four stars, 89 three stars, no two stars. Uh, so you probably uh, don't have a ton of talent up options. 62 showboats. So my man knows what's up. He's got plenty of the best class in the game. 12 Hall of Famers. 52 is his best feud rank last 365. Uh, 1,425, bleh, 1,425 faction heals in the last 30 days. That's a lot. Uh, 432 feud wins. Uh, Creep Family Invitational 80th, Hall of Fame 80th, uh, WWE Champions Ampersant, <laughs> Third Birthday Contest 84th, Eternal Darkness and Endless Horror, some of his top uh, event finishes. So really great roster. Love to see uh, you working on the females. Always appreciate the, the Bliss advice too. I've been lagging on mine, but she needs to go up. The, the more I'm leveling her up, the more impressive I feel like she's getting. Um, so great roster. Love having you on the streams, man. Uh, very much appreciate it and happy to do this portal shout out. Let's take a look at the stamps today. Um, my stamp is still on cooldown. Uh, yesterday I didn't show claiming this because it was on cooldown. You can see one hour, one minute for me on my stamp. It says, um, boogeyman shards at the end. Nothing else new there. Uh, offers. I have not even uh, looked at these yet, so let's take a look and see what we have, if anything new. Um, looks like some web exclusive cash combo stuffs. So $5, uh, 500 cash, that's kind of the normal pricing with your bonus items right here. $10, your bonus items there. And um, some tokens, and what do we got for the 20? 3 million coin, 300 TP. Some prize wall coins. I mean, I prefer getting my cash. Uh, Tapjoy, these offers don't completely excite me um, at all right now. Uh, but I guess if you need cash, you might as well get the bonus stuff. Do it on the portal and double dip. Uh, it's not for me. Uh, bronze loot pack, nothing that crazy. Um, I believe these were all there the other day. So nothing new there either. Free daily claim, though. Don't forget to get your shards. Let's take a look and see if the spend... I think the spend event might be different now today. Not different, but a new one. We'll see if it's different. It is a new one. It looks like it's going to be the same. Uh, keeping the Hall of Fame tokens in there, uh, which is interesting. I kind of like that. If you're at least double dipping, you can uh, score some Hall of Fame tokens now too. Uh, so that's helpful. But that looks normal. Same same thing. 5, 5 10? 5, 15, 25. You'd think I'd know by now. Uh, flash market. No surprise flash market today. Don't forget to do your free daily reroll. See if we get anything good. Mm, nothing I need. Not that exciting. Uh, let's go over to the game now. And see what we got going on over there.
Okay. We got the cash event going on. And let's take a look at the milestones. Obviously, uh, 750 cash. That's pretty good. Like normal. Um, like these have become. If you need some showstopper shards there and there. Uh, 3,000 shards gets you... Uh, or 3,000 shards. 3,000 cash gets you 5 million coin, 100 boogeyman shards, etc. I think that milestone is really good as well. Let's check out the 60k. Uh, not amazing. But not bad. Uh, again, this milestone looks really good uh, for the boogie shards and 6 million coin. So I can see going to there. And 10 million coin, Hall of Fame tokens. Uh, so to 120 looks pretty good. Um, obviously not everyone's going to have 12k cash. Uh, but to that point looks good. If you just don't have a lot of cash, to this point looks really good. The 30,000 uh, mark. Uh, after this, diminishing returns. You do get another 100 boogie though. And uh, the Hall of Fame tokens there. And here there's 65 Montez. Um, and then we got another 100 boogie here, so a lot of boogeyman shards um, going out. A lot of HBK ones too, if you want him. HBK's gear at the end, um, which is uh, pretty cool, I guess, for HBK. Another 200 boogeyman shards, so if you really want boogie, um, this is probably a great way to get a chunk of his shards. Obviously, it gets uh, takes a lot of cash to get to the end, uh, so that's what's going on there. Let's see what's in the leaderboards. We got Brett, uh, five star at first place. Uh, that's nice for Hall of Fame. And then four star gold, four star silver there. And then um, 100 shards, fourth through tenth. And top 25 get 50 shards. Uh, I imagine this will be fairly competitive, potentially. Let's see what the leaders are at now. Oh, yeah, definitely is. Um, three people already over a million. Uh, and then we're four hours into it. So this will probably be a fairly high one. Uh, top 25 for the 50 shards. We'll have to see where that ends up, but I imagine it'll be fairly high as well because uh, there's probably a few people out there 50, 100 shards short. Uh, so I think it'll be a pretty big one. As typ Typically, these are pretty good uh, contests, the cash ones they're running, if you want the coin and the Hall of Fame tokens. Um, so I think this is another good one. Um, let's see what else we got. Let's check the store, see what's in there. Okay, um, I am not a fan, really, of these offers, so uh, not one I would get. I'd rather get it on the portal and double dip. Uh, diamond one uh, isn't bad for extras, though, if you want an emerald token and stuff, uh, if for some reason you're wanting to spend that much. Um, see if there's anything new. These ones, right one, has worked better for me in the past for Hall of Fame tokens. I say that all the time, though. I don't think that's any news flash to anyone. Get your free daily claim. And uh, there, the Ray loot is up now. We talked about it the other day. I don't like buying loot when you can't get bonus stuff, so generally not a fan of it. I will go over the loot today for people, though. Um, so let's let's do that. There. Also, before we get to that, um, the tour from Monday... Now on Hell Mode has uh, Shane Mack available to clear it on Hell Mode. It's going to be very difficult. Uh, I did do a tour video of Shane O'Mac at 4 Star Bronze um, with no strap. He can easily clear hard mode with the setup I have there. And depending how bad you want it, he can clear some nodes on Hell Mode. I do clear uh, a Hell Node mode uh, with him at 4 Star Bronze. Um, so if you want to watch that, I'll have a link to the description in the video. But don't forget, you can redo Monday's tour, and it is on a short cooldown. So just a PSA for everyone, so you're not mad next week. These tours uh, that are required are on a short cooldown. They end Friday, right here. One day, 19 hours. At least this one has the scrolling Friday, so this one will for sure. But I would plan on figuring they end Friday no matter what. Uh, so make sure and get these tours done. And this is the one that has Shane O'Mac um, as a requirement now that wasn't there originally. So there's that. 
Okay, uh, I want to talk about one other thing real quick. Again, with the faction tours, want to mention it again. Uh, you can do any of the tours without Dawkins. So you don't need to use him. So make sure you clear all of your tours for your faction because there's points for the faction event in them. And it ends soon, so get those done. Don't be lagging behind on that. Uh, make sure and get them done. Also, it's a long month and there have been a few changes. Um, I kind of want to talk about my initial thoughts. Initially, I actually like the tour from the perspective of a free-to-play player, not uh, having to do 50 to 100 blitzes on normal mode. That's going to like take most of their life up. This seems pretty good. It is a long month. So we'll have to see how the points work. It doesn't. It does look like my faction probably won't max it uh, when they typically do max everything uh, faction related. Uh, although it's going to be close, so we'll have to wait and see uh, how that works out. Um, but I do like the fact that it seems to be much less paywalled than Blitz. Uh, you don't need to get the extra stuff in the tours. So that's just bonus stuff for spending. If you don't have the required guy. Um, also, it is a long month, so we have to wait and see how this works out with Hell Mode being a little bit harder and um, all of that stuff. Uh, it is harder initially, but I don't feel like I have less shards than I normally would. I don't feel like I have less points than I normally would. Um, so it seems to be working out okay. Uh, so I wouldn't panic yet. It's just new stuff, uh, new, um, new delivery for the MLC. I think at the end of the month, we're probably going to be fine, like normal. Um, so I wouldn't panic yet. Just play what you can, get what you can. I saw a couple people saying they're giving up. They're not even trying. And, and you know, if you're the kind of person that gives up after two or three days, uh, this probably isn't the right game for you anyway. But I would get everything you can uh, for free, like always. Play the game, have a good time, that kind of thing. Let's take a look at the loot. That's enough of me on my soapbox there. Okay, there's plenty to go over. I'll do the key pulls first. Maybe we'll get something good. I mean, I'd take that Tech Dawkins. Shano Mac shards. All right. And let's take a look at the loot pulls now and see what's good. Yeah. I literally had people, they saw people say they were giving up after three days. Definitely not the right game for you. Okay. So, Ray Loot, 1% featured, rare, uncommon, common. Macho King's in there, so it instantly makes it attractive, even though he's probably weighted low. Uh, who doesn't want Macho King? Ray, of course, has his gear. 1% uh, is super low, and it's definitely got stuff you probably won't be excited by. Uh, like Scott Hall, who's not good. Um, but at least there's no shards, right? Um, ultimate Cruiserweight Ray Mysterio in the very rare. A little, lot bigger percentage here at 15%. But a lot of stuff you probably don't want. Um, Steamboat's in there, so that's cool too. But then you get, you know, meh. Um, really meh, meh, meh. So again, though, no shards, but I would imagine the weighting is really low. Uh, it looks just like his typical uh, debut loot. Um, let's see if we get anything exciting in the commons as well. You know, if you're really close to Ray, for some reason, if you missed him, maybe you're really close to HBK. Uh, I get it. Uh, but there's no bonus stuff either, so I feel like this is not one that I would bother with. I'd wait for a better time to try my luck with, with that personally. That's up to you, of course. I actually like the, the, the kickoff champions loot more, to be perfectly honest, uh, than the Ray one. Okay, Seamus Cash loot. This should be like his debut. 41 pulls at 12k. This would get you that uh, 120,000 bonus. So King Seamus, Boogeyman, you know, uh, a lot of decent stuff in here. So far, Trish not crazy about, Eric, Charlotte, it just kind of goes south at that point, and then you got shards as well. So let's see, 1.88% is okay. And then let's see what we got here. Um, oof. A lot of common, again, no shards, a lot of common stuff for 2.37%, so doesn't really excite me. Uh, super rare is only 6%, and there is a lot of Garbo in here. Uh, yeah, 
Very rare doesn't look much better. Uh, rare. Boy, this is... There's not a lot of good good cards in these loot here. This... Ugh. Uh, if you're close to one of these guys, and by close, uh, I mean like 50 shards kind of close, then maybe. Otherwise, I would not use my cash on this. I would just go buy strap parts because they're going to be useful. In fact, that's what I will be doing with mine because I managed to go through over 100,000 in the past few days. Uh, so my big stash is less. Uh, I don't like that one at all. And let's see. So this is more of a premium one, 22 pulls uh, for that 12,500. 1.7%. So again, odds aren't super great. Let's see if the loot's better. A lot of HBK. Stevie's good. Priest is good. Naomi's amazing. Kofi, I still don't have Snoops in there. Okay. Uh, Hawk is good. No shards. So I like this featured a lot for sure. There's a lot to like in here. So it's a pretty good featured, but 1.69% uh, is not a super high rate, but it's a, uh, I would say overall, a pretty good featured pool for the most part. Mega Rare is 3.39. Uh, again, with the Stevie, Mr. T is still chief. Mm. That's not terrible either. Not crazy about the um, outsiders in there, but still not bad at all. And then no shards again. So that's looking pretty good. Super rare. Boy, I love seeing Steamboat. I would like to get him. Um, you know, not too crazy there, but still some decent stuff in there overall with no shards at 10%. So honestly, this is the better of the cash ones to me by far. Uh, getting into the rare, a lot of shards here. Miz, Seth, Strowman, if you're close to any of these, they're all shards. And then commons, you still got HBK in the commons. Uh, Champa, the reason I'm mentioning is these is because they're still a little bit more rare, so it's cool to see them in the commons. Ember Moon, uh, Gargano, um, not a terrible common one either as far as commons go, but no shards. And you guys know I love my shards. Uh, in the comments to try and get someone I need, but I do think this is by far the better of the two cash loot pulls. This is the one I would go for if I was pulling. Um, but like I said, I plan on using my cash, and I've shown this before, I'll show it again. Um, all of it probably on one of two things. Um, the strap parts down here. Is I buy a bunch of these. And then the other place... Uh, the other thing you may not know, if you're short on 4-star gold tokens like I, I am myself for strikers in particular, um, you can do this. Go into a striker, into the upgrade, click on the can, and you can purchase them for 500 cash. Uh, let's go ahead and do at least one here. The odds aren't always great that you're going to get a can. I got one. There we go. So that was one can. It's not cheap. But you can get some extra four-star gold tokens in here and double down with the cash event going on and get the rewards at the same time. So those are the two things that uh, I've been doing. The nice thing about the strap parts is it's guaranteed. You know you're going to get it. And uh, so if you have someone you need to get a strap unlocked, now is the time. Get a bunch of those. The other thing you can do um, that's very useful is refresh your showdown store. Uh, so it it's likely to be a showdown weekend. First week of the MLC usually is. I don't know that for sure, so do not quote me on that. Um, but refreshing the showdown store for 45k cash, um, you can see I don't have a ton of tokens uh, right now, but it can get you closer to getting your um, promoters. These are the last two I need, Macho and Orton, so I get those every time. And then the other thing I get every time is always... Always the star fills. Never pass up the star fills ever, ever, never, ever, in my opinion. That is the single best thing you can buy uh, with this currency. They're almost impossible to get any other way. So get them every time. Don't ever not get them. Uh, and then I always buy the TP too. Although you don't have to do that. I always do. But And you don't have to do this. I just think that's this literally the smartest thing um, that you can spend your, your showdown coins on is this. Um, once I get my promoters done, these last two done, I'll be saving for Hall of Fame tokens um, as well. So anyway, those are the things I think it's good to use your cash on personally and what I do most of the time. So um, 
hopefully that helps guys let me know what you think in the comments uh remember to like subscribe and share um should also be putting out a hbk four star tour build uh the next day maybe tonight maybe tomorrow but don't forget to check the shano mac one if you need that uh thanks for watching guys and good luck out there